beautiful hills. And we got uh, Jeff with us today. And we got Robert with us today. Robert uh, working with his uh, new SDC. And Jeff is working with my uh, old TDI, which is breaking. The uh, on and off switch has been going bad for quite a while now. Well, today's plan was to, uh, there's an area upstream I wanted to work the hillside, but as we were hiking up there, the spot we're at right now looked good to me, so I thought, well, I'll stop for a minute and uh, do a little detecting. Well, I think we're stuck here for a while because I found two pieces of gold. Let me show you. I want to explain what I'm going to be doing here. This, all this, and I'm sure it's really hard to see because with the sun out, I can either blow out the picture with the sunlight so you can see the darker stuff, or um, if I make it so it's not blown out, then you can't see anything in the shadows. But basically what we have here, there's an old tertiary channel up here or an old bench. I don't know which one it is. But when they originally mined this, they left that bench. And that tells me there's not enough gold in the gravel to warrant working at all. But you can see here, or hopefully you can, they picked a low spot in the bedrock and they're tunneling into the bench. And that tells me the best gold was right on the bedrock so rather than move everything, they're just gonna tunnel in and get what they can. Well, on both sides of this area, we have throw up piles. So this is filled in. We're not gonna be able to work that because it's too big a boulder, it's too much overburden. But they have, could have thrown out chunks of gold, which are, were small for them, but great for us, in the throw up piles. So the plan is hopefully to roll a few rocks and see if we can find, it, find anything in these throw-up piles. Okay, well, I'm gonna get some tools, get to work. No, I just don't, I don't want to leave, I just stay. Oh, you just leave, yeah, that's all it is. How does that it's all not it? my best protection. And if I have to leave, Well, I'm not sure where I left off, but what we decided to do, Jeff and Robert are gonna do one side of this where the gully where they dug up. I was gonna do this side. I let them pick which side. No, and, no, no, no. He picked Yeah, side. Robert picked which side. I didn't have the heart to tell him he picked the wrong side, but. Long story short, I detected everything coming up to the pile so I could roll my stuff downhill. And I picked up, I don't know, five or six pieces of lead and that's been it. But I've been chasing a target in this pile and I finally started out very, very weak. And I've dug down to where now it's screaming. And being in a pile like this, I figured the odds are it's either a nail or gold because I don't think we're gonna find lead down here. So I figured I better turn the camera on and show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna put the mic in the headphones so you can hear what I'm hearing. Okay, the target sounds good, but it's just too loud, which makes me think it's part of a nail but I like the way the signal comes in and goes out, so let's see if we can find it. I thought that was a rock, that's bedrock. Nothing there. Nope, nope. I think lots of earthworms. I heard it. Right. It's a worm. Ah, a nice worm. Sounding more like a nail. <laughs> well, where in the heck is it? Because that's bedrock. 
Did I move it? Sounds like it's right here. I think I moved it. Yeah, we moved it. Oh, first try. Oh. Right there. I see gold. Right there on the end of the shovel, I see a little piece of gold. The question is, how big is it? Oh yeah. Ooh. What that side. thing? Well, we just started. That thing just screamed. He thought it was a nail. I said it was a nail. Okay, that third piece right there. Not real big, but boy, it sure sounded off. Need to get you caught up. After that last piece I found, uh, I went over the area, no more targets. We broke for lunch. And after lunch, I dug a little bit more and I found one lead BB and that was it. But I'm to the point now to where I'm spending too much time digging and not enough time detecting because it's, you know, we don't have that much longer. So I'm thinking we're gonna, uh, move out from here, see if we can find a spot in this same general area, but we're going to stay up on the hill. Uh, we're not going to go down to the creek. Right now there's no leaves out or anything else, so we got a better look at the hillside. So I'm thinking we're going to stick on the hillside because so far we've been, been doing pretty good. And there are several spots in here that look good to me, so what do you say we uh, do a little detecting, see if we can pick up another piece of gold. Crevice right there, and that's where it is. Okay, that that target, we have a crack behind this rock, and I think that's where it is. Let's see if we can break this loose. And I don't see any giant piece of gold. Well, that's not good. What's that? That's it. Hey, another worm. Ah, that's a, some kind of a critter. I don't see anything that looks like gold. Ah, piece of metal. That's not gold. No. And that's not even cut silver. Not rusty. Got to be silver. Well, that was our target. I thought sure that was gold, but it turned out to be a piece of iron. Looks like a. Uh, Blade of a knife, actually. Well, that was our target.
We got a. Sounds like we got another light one up here. Make us a spot to, for all our stuff to fall to. I moved it. Oh, well, whatever it is, it ain't very big. Not bigger. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it before that. And it's getting bigger. I can see it right there in the shovel. Okay, right there. Nice little piece. Well, now I got a bit of a dilemma. This whole area it's covered with blackberry vines. I don't know if I want to detect in here or not, but uh, I think we pretty much got to look around here now. So do a little more detecting, see if we can turn up another target. Check the, as much of the side, there's quite a bit of blackberries up there. And uh, found one nail and that was it. Uh, came back to that spot where I found that, just found that last piece and, you know, checked as much as I could there, no signals. So now I'm back in the area where I found my first pieces of gold and it's getting kind of late. So figure I'll pretty much end the day here, see if we can pick up one more piece uh, before we got to get out of here, see if we can get end of day gold. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm having a hard time finding any targets. Getting late, so I think it's time to pack everything up and we're gonna pretty much just metally tech back to the Jeep. And uh, if I find anything, I'll turn the camera on. If not, I'll see you back at the, the house. you guessed it's the next day nope it's like three days later <laughs> I've been really busy and right now it is really raining out there well I got that gold all cleaned up so uh, what do you say we uh, jump over the scale and see how we did well I checked that large piece we got out of that throw up pile 1.94 grams not bad <laughs> And all total, 5.05 grams. A little over 5 grams. That tells me that we're probably going to be heading back up there. Now, that area, that old channel kind of intrigued me. I, I metally detected the face of that quite a bit and nothing. Uh, you know, a few hot rocks, but that was it. And so I'm guessing... You know, the fact that they didn't work that and they were tunneling into it, that pretty much tells me the, the big portion of the gold is on the bedrock. Now, the gold that we're finding is what they've thrown up and also I think is pieces that have naturally eroded out of there over the years that, you know, has just been missed. So there's, there's quite a bit more area, I wouldn't say quite a bit, but there's more area to detect, but we we got all the easy stuff. Now, from here on out, it's going to be clipping brush, rolling boulders, it's going to be slow going. But uh, 
we're not getting near the river for quite a while because it's it's raining really good out there. It's supposed to rain for the rest of the week. And we got snow going to be melting, so I don't think we're getting down on the river for quite a while. And I don't, I'm fine with the hillside. And then I still haven't got to that spot I want to check. It has that same gravel in it. But there's also a flat spot up on top that uh, I think there was an old camp there at one time. So next trip back in, we may be doing a little uh, treasure hunting and gold hunting. Never can tell. Well, that's pretty much all I got for this one. So I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Well, the plan here is this switch has, uh, can go either way. So I don't know if the switch is shot or just one side, but we're going to pull the contact off of this side and uh, see if we can put it on the other side, see if we can get it to work. See if I can get a hold of it. Now we're going to solder it on the other side. Hopefully. Well, apparently it worked because it just turned on. Well, other than being backwards, it looks like the TDI's back at work. Good for another 20 years.